Hi folks, it's Double Crown. This is GTA 4. Now, I don't normally play this, but um, I thought I'd do it today. We're not really going to play it, but I found a radio station on GTA 4 which discusses conspiracy theories. So uh, let's go for a nice long drive and uh, just listen to this radio station. The radio station um, I believe is called WKTT. Um, so check that out. Uh, this is GTA 4. Um, enjoy conspiracy theories on GTA 4. WKTT 1066. Because the family is under attack and it's time to fight back. Our covert prisons being built in the desert is a secret fraternity controlling world leaders who really runs American banks and the secret scheme behind the penny in your pocket. These are some of the incredible truths revealed today on Conspire with me, your host, John Smith, which, of course, is not my real name, as we show you who and what really runs your world. I've also got an amazing report into the reality behind game shows and how they were used to fight communism. And a look into how the electric car was, in fact, invented before the internal combustion engine way back in 1890. It's going to be another great show if they don't take me off the air. I fought big business. I've attacked media conglomerates and liberal elites. I'm the man they're too frightened to speak to. I'm John Smith, and they do not, I repeat, not know who I am. So, without further ado, without any unnecessary pomp or circumstance or long verbose intros, let's, uh, let's hit the phones. Hello, Truth Seeker. You're on Conspire, and you know the drill. Hey, John. Big fan of the show. I loved you since I heard you told us the fact that the Library of Congress keeps a secret vault containing a cast of every member of Congress's penis. I mean, it's simply amazing what they spend tax dollars on. I mean, I haven't got health coverage, and yet this government is spending half a billion in upkeep of the members' members' chamber. I mean, you know I really enjoyed the last show about diet soda sweetener making children gay. They want America's birth rate to drop so it can't sustain the current population. Then a bunch of immigrants come in and take over and screw our wives. I mean, it makes perfect sense. I can't believe the lies have been told. Hey, thanks. What's your name? Jeremiah Don't Jones. fall for that. I don't need to know your name, nor you mine. Tell a stranger your name, and within minutes, you're in every database in Africa. People are trying to sell your credit card debt and planning to steal your kidney. Pay attention. Wake up. Wake up now. I'm your only friend. This is your worst nightmare, and it's all true. Destroy your social security number and erase it from your memory. And forget your name as well. Now, <clears throat> regarding diet soda, abstinence kills. It kills our ideals. At one time, having a large family was celebrated in this country. Now, if you have 12 children and eight wives, people look at you like you're some kind of freak. Do you know how many kids I've got? Uh, no. Exactly. You don't need to know. Don't profile me. Don't talk to me about credit scores. How are you going to judge me by something that happened three years ago? Yeah! I'm glad you're finally going to tackle the penny conspiracy. I fucking hate pennies! I hate Abraham Lincoln, too! Yeah, he was a meddler. He was a closeted Pakistani, definitely bipolar. Big smoker of opium. Some people think he may have been a woman. Now, I can't find any evidence of that, but I do know he had tiny little testicles and his children were not his own. And a penny! Oh, did you know that each penny costs 1.7 cents to produce. These bankers, they're getting rich, literally on our dime. That's been the story of the planet since they took us off the gold standard. Government and banks, they're the same thing. Remember that, and life won't seem so strange. They are taking you in the front and in the rear. That's America. Jay on line seven, love the initial. What's on your mind? Trails, John. How do we know when we see a plane flying over and leaving these clouds behind them that it isn't biological or chemical agents being sprayed? I mean, if you live in a poor area, they fly over and leave these vapor trails full of government chemicals to make you pregnant. I know. I banged a poor girl once and she became pregnant right away. I mean, I pulled out, bitch. She's a lying bitch. With these contrails, John, we're crops. We're crops, John, and we're getting dusted. Yes, it's nothing new. 
It was a technique invented, of course, by the British and perfected by the Nazis, using crop sprayers to control a population. After the war, you know where those Nazi scientists ended up? No! University of San Andreas Los Santos. And where are people both fertile and brain dead? Los Santos. You do the math. Yeah! They brought down IQs so that when the Chinese invade, which they will do via the West Coast, they'll only find a bunch of vain morons and then they'll have to leave. That's what the defense industry has become. You thought it was all about worthwhile stuff, like selling guns to African dictators or supporting oil states. No, sir. It's about the holy grail, eugenics. And you're paying for it with your tax dollars. You fools. Open your brains, people. I'd tell you to grow some balls, but, but it's brains I'm worried about. They keep you so stupid so that if the miseducation system fails and you actually end up knowing how to read, it'll all be meaningless anyway, as you'll be too stupid to understand anything. Yeah! Wow, that actually makes a lot of sense. I think that's why I always hated black people. Hey, hey, I cannot tolerate overt racism. I am not a racist. Accepting and explaining clear genetic differences between different races is not racism. It's facts. Facts. Like when you go to the grocery store, do you buy any brand of food? No, you buy the right brand. People should do the same with their life mate. Of course, people don't like the truth. What I said about the French women, true. Andrew, you're on Conspire. Hey, you know, I want to say thanks for all the insight over the years. I didn't know I needed to be this paranoid until you opened my mind to how awful society is. It's really very useful. I used to have a job and a wife, but I was so naive. Now I live in a bunker, armed to the teeth and free from human corrupting agents, and I'm much happier. I'll tell you. Anyway, John Smith, I wanted to say, you had that guy on last week talking about the end of the world is in 2012 because that's when the Mayan calendar runs out. I say fuck the Mayans. Their calendar sucks balls. No wonder they went extinct. What kind of calendar has a guy sticking his tongue out in the middle of it? Can you, I don't know, can you imagine carrying a 300 pound rock around the size of a trash can lid just so you know what day it is? Fuck that. Maybe you can. I fucking can. And I'm supposed to take your civilization seriously? Uh, I respect your opinion, but the facts are the facts, friend. Hey, screw the Mayans, man. The fucking Aztecs were the shit. They were far more powerful. Their civilization was about sacrificing bitches and gold and men having tans and wearing short skirts. It was much more like how I live my life today. Seriously, I wear a skirt every day because of the Aztecs, man. And you know what? <laughs> no, what? Uh, uh, neither do I. I forgot what I was going to say. But uh, just for the record, the government sucks balls hard. It's like a puppet show, like the one my dad did for us when the puppets would suck his balls. Why can't we get a real leader like Hitler? I mean, China, he did some bad shit, but he also built roads and found the Ark of the Covenant before that archaeologist stole it. I mean, I don't know any blacks or Jews or women, and I've never met one, and you know what? I'm glad. I can't stand the people who are like me. So imagine how much I'd hate people who aren't like me. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Are, can you hear me? John? Hello? Okay. Uh, well, thanks for your call, but after that fine last month, we, we can't have callers explaining their beliefs quite so clearly. But remember... They are out to get you, and by that I mean the people who put the pyramid on your Washingtons. The great mystery of the dollar bill. I will explain all after this break. 